Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we invited both Hiromi and Miko to our apartment. And then, somehow, Hiromi got tangled up in all the wires and stripped for some reason. But anyways, let's see what happens next. Hmm. Oh. Back at the swimming club place? I did manage to get them free of the cables eventually. Uh, how did that go? It required me to get a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. But I did eventually manage to do it. I'm the first one here today. Oh, is it the next day? Miko wanders through the door, then puffs up her cheeks when she sees me. Why? We must never speak of what happened again. Isn't that like everything that you've been telling me is never to speak of what happened? But I didn't even say anything. Quiet. Time for you to get in the pool. But you're not even changed yet. Oh. I'll be changed in a minute, so wait there. She quickly heads off to the changing room. Oh. Okay. I just stand there, counting the bricks in the wall. Wait, bricks? What bricks? They, they all look painted on. Like, painted over. How can you see that? Are you Superman? My eyes wandered down and I noticed something. Miko left her bag here. She usually puts her swimsuit in that bag too. Oh no. Oh no. Are you gonna go in the changing room? I'd better give it to her. What, what, couldn't, you just, couldn't you just yell it in? Oh well. As I wander into the changing room, I call out. Why didn't you call out before wandering into the changing room? Miko? Miko? There's no one in here. Where did she disappear to? Miko, you left your bag behind. Me. Um, uh, is that her, her, is that what she's going to wear now? Her bikini? Do swim meetings? It occurs to me that walking into the changing room was a terrible idea. But too late for that now. The sight in front of me is quite unbelievable. Standing there in a state of undress, Miko appears to be wearing her signature blue stripes today. Oh wait. Oh, those, those aren't panties. I mean, that has to be a bikini. So she was wearing her blue striped bikini that day? As she pulls her shirt off, I slowly watch her chest get squashed. By what? then gradually break feet free of the shirt's confines. I'm seeing more stripes than I did before. She simply stands there, her shirt half removed, her skirt slightly unraveled. So you're just gonna stand there and stare? There have been few moments in my life as awkward as this. You mean the whole time you've been here in, in school? In this school? As she slowly turns her eyes to look at me, I feel a shiver of dread go down my spine. Well, I would, I would think so if you're staring at her changing. Kada, what are you doing, stupid? I wanted to give you your bag that you left near the pool. She looks at it and slowly realizes the problem. No. Don't tell me. You've been going through my clothes, haven't you? B what? No, I... No, I just came to give you your bag. I haven't touched your clothes. There's no way that you haven't. What? Why do you think... Why do you keep believing that I'm a big pervert? Angrily, she takes a step towards me, but realizes that she has other problems. You... You can see everything. Her bra seems to be a size too small. 
Is that really her bra? That doesn't look like a bra. It looks more like a bikini. Like, panties don't have straps like that. Do they? No? I, I thought only bikinis do. There's barely enough cloth to cover her. Am I really going to say it? It does not seem to do much to support her, either. Nope, there's no, uh, no underboob support. As she moves, I cannot help but notice the earthquakes that are erupting over her. Tracts of land. Oh, that does not sound good. Just leave the bag over there. Okay, okay. I'll do that. And stop acting like that. Wh acting like what? This is so embarrassing for me and you don't even care. I... What? But I do care. Her cheeks are so flush right now. I swear that it's making her dizzy. She awkwardly stumbles over to her bag and clutches it protectively to her chest. Rummaging through it, she desperately she's she desperately searches for her swimsuit. Where is it? What did you do with my swimsuit? I didn't do anything to it! I didn't do anything with it! Oh, that was close. This must have been your plan all along. You got rid of my swimsuit so that I'd have to swim in my panties. Is that what you wanted to do before? You wanted to see more stripes, didn't you? I can't comment on that. <laughs> That's been your obsession ever since you got here. Uh, no, that hasn't been my obsession. Um, well, I hope I don't get in big, big trouble. Hmm. After that incident, the swimming lesson continued and ended unevent- What? Uneventually? And- Oh, you mean eventually? I'll bait with make Miko, forcing me to do even more laps than usual. Dang it! I didn't want to do more laps. Hiromi turned up late, but earlier than she usually does. Hmm, where's she now this time? Now, we're all heading home together. As we're walking out of the front gate, both of them seem apprehensive about something. Huh, about what? Kata, I wanted to know something. Yeah? Is something wrong? How are your studies doing? Uh, uh oh. In class, you don't pay attention at all. But, but don't get the wrong idea, I'm not concerned about you or anything. Are you sure, Miko? I barely learn anything while I'm here. My complete indifference towards learning is becoming a serious problem. Uh, yeah. You do one your studies. I won't lie. I haven't been doing that well. Why is that? Can't concentrate? You really have that much trouble studying? Um, because I love swimming. I think about it all the time. I just don't really care enough. I guess. Maybe it's time you started caring. You're coming over to my place for a study session. Wait, what? Okay. Coming over to your place? But for a study session? I wouldn't it be better if we just stood in the library or something? A study session? Hmm. You just said that you weren't doing well, didn't you? But I, 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 yes, I, aww. Uh, I'm going to help you then. Aw, how sweet of you, Miko. Hmm. Nah, I think I need help. I need help studying. You know, if you don't study, you're gonna do bad. Do bad in school. I don't think I can say no. Well, some help wouldn't hurt. Good, we're studying this afternoon then. Wait, afternoon? Hold on. Is it still morning? Did we finish school in the morning already? I'm, I'm kind of puzzled. She has that look in her eye. What look? Very evil eye look. I don't think this is one of those situations where I can say no. I would take her up on her offer, Kata. It may not seem like it, but she's really a gifted student. 
What do you mean it may not seem like it? <laughs> I think uh, Hiromi's just teasing Miko there. Oh, see, she is. Yay. I'm just teasing. Well, if Hiromi says you're a good student. Well, well I'm an okay student, I guess. She's being modest. She's at the top of the class. She is? Oh, dang. Though people tend to overlook that. Miko seems to grow quite grim as Hiromi says that. I'd better say something before this escalates into anything. Alright, when do you want to do a study session then? As soon as we can, you can't fail now. Aw, thanks Miko. I won't. Exams are coming soon. Oh no. She's right. You should really be paying attention to your academics. I get told that enough by someone else. You mean your parents? Now I have three, these two telling me that. But they mean well. Just like he does. This study session might be fun. Alright. Did we all study together? I'm afraid I can't. What? What do you mean you can't? I need to go visit someone. You're always doing something. You're always being late. Talking, doing stuff, visiting people. Visit who exactly? My mother. Aww. Miko grabs me by the ear and pulls it towards her. Fiercely, she whispers into it. Back off. That isn't any of your business. I I was just curious as, as to who she's visiting, that's all. This isn't like when Miko's usually angry at me. Alright. Sorry, Hiromi. Maybe we can study together next time. It's okay. There's something happening at home right now. So, let's just say that things aren't looking too good. Aww. Alright. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Anyway, enjoy your study session with Miko. I hope it goes well. She's obviously forcing a smile. Aww. I wonder what's wrong at home. Whatever is happening at home is really upsetting her. Aww. See you later, Hiromi. I can see her smile disappear as she turns her back to us. Slowly, she walks away. Look what you've done. What? what? All I do is ask one question. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. And I didn't even know. You really have no tact at all. How, how was I supposed to know? If she's being vague about something, it means she doesn't want to talk about it. Oh. That I didn't know either. I know. I feel bad about it. She's obviously hurting at the moment. Miko huffs as I say that. Whatever. We better get this study session out of the way. After what you did there, you better pay attention to what I'm going to tell you. Don't worry, I will. Good, this way. She beckons me to follow her through the district. It's only a short walk before we arrive at her home. She quickly slips through the front door and calls back to me. Come on in. I slowly follow her through her home leading up to her room. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of seeing... Uh, Miko's bikini or bra and panties? I don't remember. I couldn't. I couldn't even tell. I thought it was a bikini. I thought it was a bikini. But oh well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. In the next episode, we'll find out what her room is like. So everyone, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.